In this video, I'll show you how to connect your phone experience to your iPhone for phone calls and audio streaming, like for music and podcasts. Start by opening Settings on your phone. Tap on Bluetooth. Ensure Bluetooth is turned on. Now we need to reboot your hearing aids. This will put them in pairing mode for three minutes, which means they will be discoverable by your phone. To reboot your rechargeable hearing aids, make sure your charger is plugged into the wall and you should see a green light on the back around the charge port. Your charger may look slightly different, but these instructions should still apply. Then place your hearing aids in the charger and look for lights on the hearing aids. If they are blinking red, let them charge for at least 15 minutes to ensure you see a blinking yellow or green light on each hearing aid. Remove the hearing aids from the charger. They will automatically turn back on. Now that your hearing aids have restarted, they will be in pairing mode for three minutes. If you have disposable batteries in your hearing aids, make sure you have fresh batteries. Then open and shut the battery door to start pairing mode. Back to your Bluetooth menu, you should see r phone hearing appear, or something similar. It is possible your hearing care provider renamed your hearing aid to something else or may have set it to the left ear, like l phone hearing aid. When it appears for you, tap on that device and the pairing should now show connected. You are now able to receive phone calls and listen to audio in both of your hearing aids. Only one pairing is necessary for both hearing aids to receive audio from your phone. Next, we will cover connecting your Phonak hearing aids to the My Phonak app. This enables you to remotely adjust your hearing aids, create new programs, track your health data such as wearing times or steps, and participate in remote support adjustments with your hearing care provider. Start by downloading the My Phonak app from the Apple App Store. Scan the QR code on the screen to jump directly to the app or open your app store and search for My Phone Act. Once you see My Phone Act, click on it and tap the download icon. When the download completes, click open. You'll have to tap through several prompts here. First, allow my phone to use Bluetooth by pressing OK. You can skip the tour, read and agree to the privacy notice, decide if you want to share anonymous analytics with Phonak for improvement, answer if you live in the US. This is to determine if an FDA warning should be shown to you and is not used for any other purpose. Read and agree to the FDA information. Now, once we're at the home screen, we're going to put our hearing aids back in the charger. Once we see lights on the hearing aids, we can remove them again to initiate that three minutes of pairing mode. Tap on pair device, then let's get started and continue. If you have two hearing aids, make sure you see both show up under devices found. They should show as LE underscore R dash Phonak HEA and LE underscore L dash Phonak HEA. If you do not see both devices, try rebooting them again. Tap on them when ready. Then you will see two sequential Bluetooth pairing request prompts from the iPhone. You must approve both of these for the app to work. You should see pairing complete then press continue. You can then read and permanently dismiss the safety warning by pressing OK and don't show again. Wait a few moments for the hearing aids to connect to the app for the first time. This can take longer than normal on the first connection and also requires an internet connection. If the connection fails, try to make sure you are on Wi-Fi or have good cellular signal. Now that you're connected, you are free to explore the app and adjust the hearing aids. I want to quickly point out that if you return to the Bluetooth menu, you will now see three hearing aid connections, including two new LE underscore L and LE underscore R connections. 
The LE stands for low energy and are connections for your app to work. You can see right now they say connected, but if you close your app, you will see it says not connected. This is normal as the LE connection is only necessary when the app is actively open. Next, watch videos on Bluetooth tips and tricks with phone hearing aids and troubleshooting if you have connection problems.